Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in a brand new campaign. Yes, I know it's a little bit early, uh, but unfortunately they put the patch out and I had no choice. I got early access, so I was like, well, I need to put out a video out, and we're going to. So, uh, this is using the, was it the 2.4, 4 I can't remember which patch it is. Uh, it's one of them, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the important thing is this is the patch they put out because the community gave them quite the dropping over the release of Shadows of Change. So they have added a bunch of new units and legendary heroes and characters to all of the factions trying to make the DLC worth a little bit more. It's a nice thought. I haven't tried it out yet. We'll see how it goes. So I've picked Zarina Katarin because I recently played Cathay. I've already played the two Zinch factions quite recently. So I was like, well, let's let's just go for one of the Kislev factions. And I had a choice between Kostaltin and Zarina Katarin. And I picked Katarin because although I'm not a royalist, if Prince Charles, sorry, King Charles, could murder people with giant blocks of ice conjured out of nowhere, I would probably be more of a royalist. Exactly. Um, I'm fairly sure that Liz could. 90% sure Liz could probably clobber people with ice. Um, maybe fire. I don't know which which element she, she veered towards. Doesn't really matter. Not important. The important thing is that we're playing as Arena Catherine. Now, none of the mechanics for the factions have changed, which is a shame because I do think that Kislev has some really boring faction mechanics. Most of all, because only two of the factions actually can, can deal with the supporters mechanic. Both Boris and Ostankia don't have anything to do with this. Um, in fact, last time I played Boris, you were supposed to be able to do this, but um, Zarina Catherine died really early on, um, which meant that only Castalton was left, which meant I didn't actually... I couldn't do anything with it, so... It was fine. Uh, we've got the invocations, which we can use little, little play faction wide buffs. That's fine. It's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we've got the boyars as well. They are very forgettable. And we've also got the ice court, which is no fine. It's generally fine. Otherwise, um, yeah, they're basically like a more hybrid empire to be brutally honest, without the artillery. So we start off with Kislev, which kind of makes sense. We're going to build both the buildings that give growth so we can get growth as soon as possible. That's going to give us an extra 60 growth. Lovely. Just going to take us 70 growth, which isn't amazing, but it's something. I'll take it. Not Meanwhile, we do start off with Zarina Katarin. Now, of course, Katarin herself has not really changed very much. She is the Ice Queen. She gets upkeep reduction for Ice Guard. And she now gets an Ice Court Sled. Oh, she also gets a Frostworm. Is the sled going to... I feel like the sled's probably not going to be as good as the, the Frostworm. I could be wrong, but there we go. And we've also got a new legendary hero that turns up at some point. Not entirely sure. Not actually got them yet. We'll see if they're better than... Uh, who is it? Acold. Acold Hellbrass, who was incredibly boring. So let's start off by killing off this guy, one of these naughty Norskans that has roamed into our territory. We're going to beat him up. First battle of a brand new campaign. It's got that brand new campaign battle smell which is like the inside of your fridge or potentially freezer frozen souls will burn. what does your fridge smell like just out of interest because mine smells pretty bad at the moment and i think it's because this, you know you know when you're like digging into the back of the fridge and like it's something there's something not right here and then you find you find the cucumber that is not a cucumber anymore. You're like, oh. That must be it. But it's not. Basically, I need to clean my fridge out more. Um, it's fine. Anyway, we've got we've got a nice tanky front line. Everyone's got guns. That's why everyone their mum is packing in Kislev. Guns, bows. I fucking love shooting people in Kislev. And we can also make everyone slow. Come on, making them very, very slow. Which means that it's going to take them longer to reach us, which means more shooting time. Just popping caps in asses. That's Kislev. Now. Interesting. Oh, yeah, we've got the Snow Leopard. This thing's a shit. Anyway, interestingly, the Winged Lancers now have a new ability called Glorious Charge. Which uh, increases... So, they get Glorious Charge. So, enemy bon uh, charge bonus is duration is doubled. So, I think it's over 30 seconds. So, I think it's obviously over 60 seconds. Enemy units take a leadership penalty as if they've been attacked in the flank. 
So even if you charge a unit, and this works particularly well on trolls who have bad leadership to start off with. So um, basically, wing lancers kind of, uh, yeah, they may not have guns. But um, they don't need them. Already mopping up there. Very, very nice. Yeah, snow leopards, I kind of think, are, I don't really understand what the snow leopard is for. It's a weird unit. It, it's sort of like an assassin type thing, but it doesn't really have the weapon strength for that. I don't really, I don't really understand what it's for. So it's just kind of, yeah, I, I wouldn't waste a waste an army slot on it. The ice witches can summon them, so I mean, I guess they're useful then. But that's about the only time that I actually use one of those bloody kitty cats. I mean, we'll keep this one. It's a good start. We need to maintain that energy. Um, I'm going to go for... We don't really need the replenishment. Don't really need the money. I might go for the devotion, the actually. The might go for the devotion. Uh, we are going to take attrition regardless, but we can go and take the city next turn. Not much we could do about that, but we will weather the attrition. We need to take Igorov and Fort Jackov. We've also got... There's the ogres over there, really. There's Azhag in the mountains as well, and obviously we've got Chaos in the north. Um, we'll see if we've got any people want to do a nice what? deal. Ostermark. Approach and make your offer. Empire's blessings, yes. Give me a, give me a trade again. Anyone want to do a trade? No, no one wants to do a trade. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about that. We'll worry about that next turn. One land. Ice queen. Let's give you... I'm tempted to give you with Root this, Marcher to start Jesus. off with. And we got a little commandment there. Uh, let's go... We don't have any growth, do we? New. No. Okay, we'll go for money then, because to be honest, there's nothing else we can really do. We're going to start with... As soon as we've already got a... We've, we've already got an eye switch, so I don't really need another one right off the bat. More growth and casualty replenishment rate. Cold storage, getting that getting that fridge done. Old fridge freezer. Ugh, fuck. That's going to make life more difficult, isn't it? And I've met the... I've, I've met Azhag. That's, that's a good start. That's a good start. God, you really start in a sucky position, don't you? Like a really, really sucky position. Oof. That's a lot of guys. Okay, we want them to come and play, but they're... They're being hard to get, so we're going to get the Zarina to try and lure them in with some icy thing. I don't think she like rides around on on a big old ice pillar, which it, it must be convenient for her. Chilly, potentially convenient though. Um, but can you imagine the number of like slip hazards, the number of people taking time off in the palace because you know the Zarina's nipped to the loo. Some poor serving girl walks out, doesn't notice that Zarina's just been passed, immediately, like, slides into a wall. She must spend half of her day just dealing with, like, accident claims. Oof. Amazingly, we actually managed to lure the Marauders out. I genuinely didn't think that would work. I, I thought they would probably send everyone, but no, they just sent one unit to, I don't know die horribly to arrows just to see what happens yeah no that's uh it's pretty rough anyway so the marauders are now running away the rest of the army is charging now we, we are outnumbered a tad just two to one uh i mean less now obviously i mean they send us uh, yeah okay, over two to one but that's fine doesn't matter so what we're gonna do we're gonna blast them there we go very nice and then we're gonna pull back Slow them so we can get some extra shots in there. Of course, the more damage we can pile in, the better. 
I mean, their speed is currently 16 due to the frostbite and and the ice sheets. So these guys are not going anywhere fast. And then they get hit by that as well. <laughs> Having a terrible time. A little flanking attack by the Marauder Horseman is countered by the Winged Hussars. Sorry, Winged Lancers. Who then annihilate them in fairly short order. We have to be careful though because we do have some uh, spear infantry advancing. We do not want to get charged by that. The the poor old armoured Kossars with great weapons in the centre taking a charge by the Norsken Ice Trolls and these guys do a lot of damage and are currently just annihilating this unit. Not much we can do about that. We're trying to deal with the uh, Hunters. The Winged Lancers smashing their way through the Marauders. Not stopping, continuing on their charge. They've actually got a really nasty charge as well. They some guys flying all over the place. They can, like, charge into a unit, knock it all over, and then charge into the next unit. The charge into the Norsegan Ice Trolls has routed them, which is great. So the Winged Lancers are going to continue their rampage through the line, basically trying to route as many of the Norsegans as possible, and killing them, of course. The Ice Kitty is being stabbed to death, which I don't really care about, to be honest. It can die. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the only good thing it does is potentially kill enemy generals, which is something we don't really have an answer for at the moment. Um, kind of hoping that maybe if the enemy army breaks, they'll fuck off. The Winged Lancers are being best boys, just absolutely destroying everyone. Racking up kills. Smashing their way through what's left. Katarin is trying to take out the enemy Marauder Chieftain, but I'm going to be honest, he's he definitely has the upper hand over her. Unfortunately, we do have our Ice Guards backing us up. I mean, it's very fancy. You need to give a Death Frost, because that's an ability that can actually kill people. The Ice Trolls coming back, and the Wing Lancers are really just mopping up. Up to 200 kills. Almost 1,000 damage dealt as gold. How's numbers looking now? Ah, yes. I mean, we definitely have taken losses, but we've done a right number on the enemy army. If we can just knock out the enemy general, I reckon the rest of them will bugger off. The Ice Kitty's in there. Uh, again, if it dies, I'm not really that bothered. However, it looks like the enemy general is going to go down and his army is routed, which means I think we've probably broken the Norskans. Oh, the winged lancers! Bloody hell. MVPing. Pretty hard there. Well done. Uh, I am just going to occupy. Let's do a little occupy. We are going to get... I'm kind of tempted to get the dervishes. What else could we do? Um, uh, we could we could do supporters. Born to rule. I mean, the farms... Okay, so that's going to give us 100. That is going to give us income from farms 50%. So it's 150. There are buildings that increase farm income, so at some point that might actually be useful. You know what? I'm going to get an orthodoxy shrine just to build up the old... Uh, the old Ugrosi. We do actually have a Kislevite warrior here. Now, they are quite tanky compared to the Kossar spears. They don't have the missile attacks, though, but they do have more guys in the units. Okay, let's get one to try them out. I'm kind of erring towards the Kossars because uh, they get bows as well. Just kind of feels more sensible to me, but there we go. I mean, that's... I mean, firing drills is just an obvious one, isn't it? Reload time reduction for all the guys that shoot. Like, literally everyone. So I'm kind of tempted... I'm going to firing drills because the faster we can shoot, the better. Obviously. 
A little bit sad there, but that's okay. We could potentially do some global recruitment. Um, tell you what, if we if we grab a couple of those boys, maybe grab a cut, maybe three of them. Let's go with that. And we're going to do growth. Because the sooner we grow our city, the better. So. Okay, you're still recruiting for another turn. That's fine. We will recruit a couple more of you guys just to keep you ticking along. At that point, I think we've got a force. Okay, we've, we've basically done the hard part, right? We took out Vitivo with that extra army. They're not going to be able to recruit too many guys. We fought Jakov next. We'll be able to conquer that one. And then Igorov is going to be fairly easy to take. We just have to worry about Azhag. Kislev. He's a problem. He's a he's a rather large problem. He's a big old problem. What special buildings do we get here, actually? Let's have a look. So we get the Boca Palace. We get the Grand Citadel. I really love how they've been so lazy and just, just gone, ah, it's, it's the Imperial Embassy 1 and the Imperial Embassy 2. Not like, you know, the, the Imperial Embassy and the Grand Imperial Embassy. Couldn't even be bothered to think that far ahead. Just 1 and 2. And if there's three buildings, 1, 2, and 3. Job done. That was a... Uh, that was a four fucking fifty on a Friday job, wasn't it? Hey Jerry, can you just uh, can you just think up some names for these for these Kislev buildings? I fucking done it. One, two, three, job done. That's me for the weekend. Later, boys. How many guys do you recruit? Four. It's actually a lot more than I thought you'd be able to recruit, but still, the important thing is you are locked inside. Let's get some siege towers. They will fall. With any luck, you'll decide to come out to play. Okay, we can upgrade you, which is great. You're a little bit sad, but not too sad. And we're starting to starting to get supporters there. This is exactly what we want. So the sooner we do that, the better. We could get a frost maiden. Ursula, son of a son of a witch. A little bit on the nose. I decide. I'll just uh, get some siege towers up. Didn't want to come out to play then. So there we go, got cold storage, casualty replenishment rate, and growth. It's fairly accurate. Um, there's certainly things growing in my fridge. Not by choice. It just happened to be there. Um, do we just do we just go for it? We could probably just win that, can we? Probably. I mean, you'd kill one of my spear boys. Um, I would actually like a siege tower. Kind of, kind of, kind of map have we got here? Um, yeah, we can. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. Ah, it's fine. We'll take it. Was I using the old keep the snow kitty in in the what the fuck is that? Oh, it's just like snow blowing. Okay, cool. Um, was I using the old keep the snow kitty over the other side of the battlefield, luring the enemy army over there and then hiding the trees trick? Yes, I was. Also, I've been having a terrible time recently with siege desyncs um, in the replays. So we'll see how this works. If this if this is fine then cool. Otherwise, um, I'll be making, I'll be writing a strongly worded letter. So, the Ice Kitty is now booking it around to the other side of the battlefield. This is giving us time to reach the wall, clamber up, get into position, and basically uh, give ourselves a nice commanding, commanding uh, fire arc over the enemy army. I do think, may, like, I've, I noticed previously that your units would sometimes like go to a wall, sit there and not do anything, but it does seem like they seemed a lot more responsive, so I don't know whether any work's been done there, um, but it's definitely feel, this, this felt better. I mean, it is the first siege I fought, so it could just be purely, purely blind luck, but um, it definitely, definitely did feel better compared to a lot of times where I've uh, 
sent units up to the wall and they just kind of run up to it, sit there, look at the ladder for a bit, and then decide to do it. Or don't. Okay, so the faster moving units are reaching the wall first, and the rest of them are on their way. This is why I did it, basically. It, it, it gives us lots of time to get into position, and ideally take out the gate as well, because we need to kill these guys as soon as possible. I mean, I could have waited another turn, but... This is probably a more optimal method, rather than having to fight, you know, fight marauders for the walls, which could have proven to be uh, quite tricky. His the like warriors actually look really cool. Look at these guys. Look, he's got an he's got a fork axe. I mean that that's using it's using a noggin, isn't it? Hey, eh? it's a fork. It's an axe. It's a fork. It's an axe. Some spears there. Uh, there. I mean they look quite cool. And with forty melee defense, actually not bad. They've actually got armor piercing as well. So, an interesting... I mean, the melee attack's quite low, but the melee defense is quite high. Uh, they, of course, have the, the charge reflection. They've got by our blood, which means they'll they'll stand to the last charge defense first large. Overall, um, they definitely... I, I was worried that basically you just get Kossar Spears, but actually, on reflection, they're pretty, pretty useful. The early armor piercing for melee is, uh, is, quite, is quite useful. Obviously, you do have the the Cossacks with is it Cossack? No, Cossack, is it Cossars? Armored Cossars with uh, with mace, two hand weapons. I mean, those guys work too. But if you want like a really tanky front line, these warriors at a pinch, pretty good. Plus, you know, you can recruit them anywhere, which is uh, is quite useful. So here comes the enemy army pouring down the ramp straight into range of our missile attacks. We do get a little bit of extra bonus range as well, thanks to the fact that we're up on the wall. Using it against them. It's turning it into a bit of a turkey shoot. So they're just getting battered on all sides. So far, so good. These berserkers could be prob could be trouble because again they've got fifty seven weapon strength and an extra bonus verse infantry with fifty melee attack as well. If they get into combat with any infantry, that infantry will get annihilated. Those berserkers are very very mean. Fortunately, they also don't wear much armor or have any missile resistance. So they're going to get into combat with the Ice Guard. Fortunately, the Ice Guard are no slouches. I love the exaggerated, like, drawing of the bow they have. It looks just, it just looks really good. So these ladies do have 46 melee attack, 39 melee defense, and 32 weapon strength, which isn't great, but uh, of course they have their bows as well. And they do have a bonus first infantry of nine as well, so that'll go on top of the melee attack and weapon strength. So they're not going to stand, they're not going to really go toe to toe with berserkers, um, but they will be able to hold their own. So far, so good. We've managed to kill off most of the enemy garrison down to about, down to about two thirds. Those Marauders, I mean, our Ice Guard should win against the Marauders, but obviously we want them shooting rather than, you know, melee combat. But, you know, mind, mind you, there's actually quite a lot of Marauders getting into combat here, which is not what we want. Uh, the gate is almost down. Did they open it? I think they've opened it. It's fine. We need to get the, the Winged Lancers in here. Nice little Ice Blast. The Wing Lancers now charging into the city. Smashing their way through the Marauders. We'll be careful. Cavalry are not great in cities. It's a little bit a uh, little bit dicey. There's bloody Ice Kitty. Katarin is inside as well, just laying into the Marauders. 
The enemy general is up there fighting the Ice Guard. Uh, not great for the Ice Guard, that matchup. They, I mean, they do have armor piercing. Do they have armor piercing? Uh, not very much. You know what, I stand corrected. I thought they had more armor piercing. I thought their missile, the missile strength was, uh, was armor piercing as well, but I stand corrected. Wing Lancers smashing their way through the infantry. I, I really like the Wing Lancers. I need to get some more of them. I'm really liking the Wing Lancers. We should, uh, should grab some more. Sent Katarine. I keep calling her Katarina. Katarine up to engage the enemy general. With her ice guards. Hopefully she'll tip the bat. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh, she's alright. She's alright. I do love the, um, the ice swords as well. That's really cool. Right, where's me? Where's me, Wing Lancers? They're doing okay, but they kind of bogged down the city here. I really should have sent some some of the warriors to come and help, but I forgot they're still outside the city. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I do like the new animations for like wizard characters where rather than just hitting them with a sword, they're they're using their little little magical attacks in combat. It's really nice. Let's the animators sort of play around with it. We lost some of the wing lancers, so they're pulling back. I mean they still got 84 kills, so that's not too bad. And our archers moving into position to try and mop up the survivors. be honest, it's mostly just these guys and the enemy general. Oh, there goes the enemy general. He is now running away. And with any luck, these marauders will follow suit once they realise that the jig is up. Well, you know what? That battle didn't desync, so that's, that's a really nice, refreshing change. I, I'm just going to occupy that one, I think. Try and, try and keep everyone as happy as possible. Horseman Speculum. And a magical mirror. And I've got a ritual enforcer to stop people being horny for Slanesh. Good. I don't want to be horny for Slanesh. Down with that sort of thing. Um, I'm tempted to get more of you boys, because I'm going to be honest, shooting people is good. Title of my court case. I'm going to knock you down so we can get something slightly better. Potentially defences, because I do not trust Azhag. I do not trust that, lads. So, you got my attention. He's at war with the ogres, but no one else, which means he's probably going to take a pop at me as soon as he can. That's my guess, anyway. Right, we are going to go for... Oh, kitties are so friggin' useless. Well, things in the wood are pretty good. More casual replenishment and more growth. I mean, I think that's that's just an obvious one, to be honest. Just feels like a obvious one. Right, we're going to get a Tempest Lady, because that fit... Wait, are you T-posing? looks like you're T-posing. Got the arms outstretched there. That's definitely easier doing a Titanic... Bow of the Titanic type thing, or you're, you're T-posing. Are you supposed to be T-posing? I mean, I know it asserts dominance. I'm very dominated, but... Oh, that's like doesn't have anyone to kill. It's bad news. It's very bad news. Hello, one motherland. Make friends with those guys. I think they're almost dead. So... Well, it's nice nice that we made friends, I guess. That's nice. It's, uh, it's fun. Uh, what we got here? We've got Iron Upkeep Reduction for all armies. That sounds pretty useful. Um, I'm kind of... Well, I don't think we should have... Missed, what, uh, the, the Roadhouse gives us growth, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll go with the Roadhouse then. Let's... The firing drills. Yes, because then... Reload time reduction for all... It is mine. All the best peeps. You know what? I really want to get some more winged lancers. I'm liking my winged lancers. I'm feeling like go winged lancers. Oh, we get 
Glacial Blast or Ice Shard. Ooh. It's a magic missile. Or an explosion. I mean, the, the problem with magic missiles is... I mean, it does, does do a lot of damage, but it's really hard to aim those bloody things. Explosions are always just generally better. And yet, and yet, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go for the ice shards. I know. Absolute madness. It is our responsibility to vanquish evil. Hello, Wolfram. What's up, buddy? Military access. Uh, go on, then. You are at war with the angry bush, which does make me concerned. You'll die alone I have a worry, but I'm going to put that aside. Kisler just bop you. Just bop you. There we go. I will just occupy with any luck. Uh, the public order won't be too bad. Wow, they really, really like building those military buildings, don't they? Good. Okay, so we've got that one. Those guys are dead. That's good news. A little bit. I'm tempted to just like bop as hag now. So, you got my attention. You've only got three settlements. I feel like bopping as hag before he's, he's gonna he's gonna attack me. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I think we need to we need to bop him. Bop him now. Um I kinda I I, I kinda want to. I kinda want to, but let's get some let's get some spells. With this I guard Kislev. Do some spells. Knock down that one. We've got a boyar. We'll put him obviously in in kit wait, did I I didn't actually... Hang on. Okay, we'll put Freddie Mercury in there. Who, what do you do? You make people sad? Why are you making people sad? Which one are... Who are you? Who the fuck... Who the fuck did... Oh, you know what? I don't mind. Sorry, it's not a boy. It's Ataman. So that. Where do we get the new... So, there from there. There's a new guy, isn't there? There's a new... The Druzine? Or is it a general? Oh, it's a general. I thought it was a hero. I mean, I, f I feel like we we've already got a melee hero. What's the difference? He's got like a gun. I mean, I, I feel like maybe giving us a, a melee hero would have been better. Cursed Frontier. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Maybe, maybe one day... They'll give us a melee hero for Kislev. We can but hope. I mean, seeing as the only good commandment is this one, I guess we'll do that one. Makes sense. Campaigner or battler? I mean... Uh, I kind of tend to go with campaigner just to stop any agent actions, but... Oh, go on then. Go on then. I do it. I, I don't mind, you know, ice, ice witch Hogwarts. It's fine. But I just wish, like, I liked the abilities. Maybe if there was, you know, some real choices there rather than I guess I'll pick the... The problem is in Total Warhammer 3 that a lot of the choices do feel like, I guess, this one. It's, it's never, you know, it's, it's rarely an exciting choice, is it? It's always, I don't know, maybe that one, I guess. This one seems to be slightly better. Oh, Frostfang, we need to occupy, loot, raise or sack three different settlements. Well, I mean, we've technically already done that, but far be it from me. Okay, we are going to get the money building. We're going to upgrade these so we get more growth. Uh, we are going... I'm going to build... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. We'll upgrade that one. Then we can upgrade to you and we can get some of the armoured Cossars. How much do these guys cost? 125. Which is the same as the Cossars with spears. I mean... Defy chaos. If they were slightly cheaper. Missile strength for Ice Guard. Yes, you get better bows. Thank you. I think I think we're going to go and beat up Azhag. If I kill him now, 
he'll be less of a problem later. Plus, he's got a gold mine, and I'm going to be honest, I really would like a gold mine. Hello, Azhag, are you about to declare war on me? Fucking called it! I knew you'd do that, you piece of shit! I know what you fucking like. I can fucking sit. I knew you'd do that, you piece of... God damn. Fucking... Fucking... Oh, Well, I wanted your gold mine anyway, so I'm going to take it off you. Uh, if we go here... Hello, Anzac. We might get spotted, but um, the Banner of Prague makes us immune to psychology. Yay! Good oh, I guess. Uh, that's quite good. This is fine. I mean, more relations with the Empire is no bad thing. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go for improved relations with the Empire. Unless, I mean, we don't have any trade tariffs at the moment. Campaign on the side, I don't really need. Glacial Prism would be nice if we had any more of them. We've only got one, so there's no point. Ah, oh, we'll do that for a minute. Hello, Azag. Technically, I really could use, like, another guy. But I think getting the ambush would be even better, assuming we could do it. Which I'm, I'm doubtful. Right, who the fuck are you? So you give us more money and more growth. Well, I guess of all the guys that I could put in there, you're probably the best option, even though it's very hard to care. <laughs> it's very hard to care about the Atamans. They're so dull. It's like, you know, extra 5% money. All right. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's it's nice to have. It's like a little Adman boy. Ad Adman? Admin. Admin boy. Oh, Valiant Defeat. Okay, what about if we, I bet we run away? We'll still probably... Still, probably. Um, what do I think about this? I think this could be worse. Look at this me. You've got a lot of, got a lot of orcs, haven't you? Uh, and a rock lobber. Maybe. Okay, we'll pull back. Same. Doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Right. Well, we better win this one, I guess. So after a little bit of dancing around, our armies have engaged in this little corner here. I thought it was a nice defensive position, and uh, seeing as Azhag was attacking me, let's make him come to me. So our Kislevite warriors holding the front line, I'm assuming they'll die pretty quickly, and uh, then the second line will take the weight of the Greenskin Horde. We're hitting them with Zarina Catherine's ice spells. Kind of lobbing them up there. If only we had Death Frost or something. Never mind. Meanwhile, we're using the Kitty Cat to sort of like draw off some of the enemies. The Winged Lancers are rolling around behind the enemy lines, trying to find a decent position, but it's difficult because uh, with only one unit of Winged Lancers, it's very easy for them to get to surrounded and destroyed. Constant missile fire is uh, dwindling the enemy horde as it advances. But there is plenty of them, with three and a half thousand greenskins being thrown at me. That's how it actually got his head kicked in. And uh, it was actually by these Kislevite warriors, amazingly. You know what? Fair play to these boys. They are holding far better than I thought they would. And also, they're actually getting a lot of kills. Catherine continually, continually hitting them with her Ice Maiden's Kiss. Blowing them little kisses every so often. Which is doing reasonable damage, uh, but nowhere near as much as we really need to, like, you know, completely annihilate some of these units. Greenskins are fleeing the battlefield. And the Wing Lancers are smashing their way through, as well, just hunting down units where they can. They've got that good 84 turn of speed, and there's no enemy cavalry. 
So they're fairly free to do whatever they want. But it's just tricky. They need to hit a unit and then run away before Biggins turn up to, uh, to kill them. That's how he's come back again. But it, uh, the warrior is just holding the line there to the bitter end. Azhag not doing very well. The kids are like warriors on the other hand. I mean, like, 108 kills they've got. That's, that's actually really good. 76 kills. They're doing really, really well. And just to hold the line. I, I, I thought they would die pretty quickly, but they are, they are just sitting there and taking it. Okay, trying to hunt down those orc boys. We do have some orc biggins charging in. Need to be careful of them. Don't want to engage them. Uh, we'll run away from that. Azhag is fleeing with only 100 hit points. We do send Kitty to try and finish him off. Spoilers. Doesn't work. Bloody useless. Look at this pile of dead greenskins. Those Kislevite warriors. Just... These guys, they're almost breaking. However, with 132 kills, unlike fair play. Fair play to you boys. You've just been sat there holding those green skins at bay. Doing amazing work. The entire army has been kept safe by the Kislevite warriors. I was not expecting much from them, but I think there might be a mainstay. Those orcs just desperately trying to break through and failing. Finally, some of the warriors do break and run. But it, they, uh, they, they just held the entire battle. Impressive. And uh, when the Greenskins realise that having managed to break through the front line, they've got two more lines of Kislev warriors to try and smash their way through. They, they quite understandably decide to run away. Look at all the dead bodies littering the ground. I mean, some of the warriors are still there as well. It's genuinely very impressive. The greenskins are now fleeing the battlefield. The wing lancers are going to be picking off as many as they can before... They get away for good. Uh, we will have to finish off Azhag. But uh, that went a lot better than I thought it would. You know what? I wasn't I wasn't gonna give the Kislevite warriors a second glance, but those boys, they fucking held. They held the fucking line. I mean, they died horribly, but they, they held the line. They will serve the motherland. That's Hag rushing away to lick his wounds. So ambush was foiled, but As Hag took an absolute fucking drubbing. Look at that. Uh, what do I like? I'm kind of tempted to go with Death Frost. Mind you, we could always go for like a cooldown reduction. Mm, Death Frost, it would be useful for killing characters, which is something we don't really have the ability to do at the moment. We've got more spell resistance. Oh, and the wolf hearts. Which will come in handy. I will brook no Pop them in there. Uh, okay, you can be a bolster, more control, or research rate. Research rate. You see, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing inherently wrong. It's just not particularly exciting. Uh, where could we? Could we recruit you here? We can recruit you anywhere, can't we? Frost maiden. We can Winter recruit you anywhere. Shot. Get a hailstorm. That'd be quite nice. Biting winds. What does freezing winds do? Rebellion against me is inconceivable. Well, indeed. Uh, that's just going to make you. I mean, we could could increase. I mean, quite like hailstorm. Let's buff that. Buff that. I would like just generally this. So let's roll with that. But we definitely want a gold mine. Oh, I should have finished off your rock lobber. Still, you've only got a little bit of rock lobber. Are you going to run away? Do you oh, we can't run away. He's running. He's marching, which means he's going to be fucking knackered. I think we got him. It's 
nail you and your stupid crown to the bloody ground. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.